how the gang saw in the last video, what we did was we took this Mario and we made him a little bit more fun to play with. And we might want to add the drag a little bit. That's a pretty, 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 pretty wild drag right there. Um, but we can we can work on that. Um, before we do that, what I want to do is I want to work on jumping. So we've got right now when we jump, we've already got the jump wired up here. It's the key up arrow, then Mario's going to jump. But right now, all it's doing is console.logging. Hi there. We can do better. So um, what I'm going to do is say, and this is very important. We need to have a this dot jumping. Because if Mario's already jumping, we don't want to keep jumping. Um, and so then in our jump, what we can do is we can say, if not this dot jump. So that's that's right now when we initialize Mario, we are we are not jumping. We are falsely jumping. We're jumping falsely. And that's what that exclamation point is trying to check for. If this dot jump equals false. That's a short way of saying that. If this dot jumping is false, what I want to do is um, I want to say this dot jumping equals true, and I want to say this dot jump value, and so this is going to be kind of like direction. We'll say this dot jump value equals negative one because we're going to go negative y negative y is up positive y is down so what i need to do is also set initialize that jump value so this that jumping is false and we'll say this dot jump value equals zero so just like before where we had a direction now we're going to have a jump value and I'll show you how we'll use that now. What we'll do is we'll say in our update method, we're going to say this dot y. So just like we had before, So it's a really similar mechanic, right? We're going to have this jump value. When the jump value is zero, then we're not adding anything. So we initialize it to zero, and so far, and, and we have also initialized our velocity to zero, right? So our velocity y is zero. Our acceleration y, right now I've got it set to one. We might want to pick that up a little bit. Um, but we haven't actually called that yet. What we're going to do is true. And this dot jump value now is negative one. And what I'm going to do is use something called an interval. And this is pretty neat. So I'm going to say this dot jump interval. So I'm, I'm, I'm setting an interval that is going to run every uh, 20 milliseconds. That's, that's a really short period of time, but it's basically just going to run fast. And this it's going to call this function at that interval until I call clear interval on this dot jump interval. And there's some links in the course uh, website for today about set interval and set timeout. Um, I'm actually going to call set timeout next. So I'll say set timeout. And set timeout, just like set interval, is going to take a function and a time value. So I'm going to give it a second, and then it's going to clear that interval. So it's going to jump for a second right now. We could make a jump for less, probably. Um, and so I'm going to make this function animate jump. And animate jump, 
Um, I'm actually going to make this an arrow method. Now, there is there's a lot more about arrow functions and functions and function scope than we've talked about. Um, I just want to say when I use an arrow function as a method declaration, the really key thing for us right now is that this continues to be the this in which that function was written. Whereas if I don't use the arrows, then this this, when I pass it into the set interval function, is going to be set intervals this. It's, it's a complicated idea. Um, we don't want to get super into it right now. Certainly not right now. While we're trying to just jump. But um, we can talk about that more if necessary. The main thing I want to say is we're going we're gonna to write animate jump and clear jump, these functions that we pass into other functions. We're going to write them as arrow functions, and that's very important. So we're going to say if this dot direction is greater than 0, so remember that's our x thing, we're going we're gonna, to um, call that next image thing again. Because um, we want to make sure that this Mario is pointing the right way. And we could also use this to um, choose a different set of images, but I was having a little bit of trouble with my uh, images, and, and I just didn't want to deal with it at that moment. So um, maybe you can do better than I did with getting these jumping images to be correct. I just I couldn't get it lined up, and I just thought, you know what, these are fine. Um, so we've got our next image, 6, 8, just like we had for run right. And then I'm going to do the really crucial thing, which is say this dot velocity y plus equals. So this is going to be just like we did before with our uh, running. But it's gonna it's gonna trigger on its own automatic automatically for a second or however long we decide to keep that running, um, and this way we can we can disable that jump key from the get go and it won't jump. You know we can actually if we want to. We can see like that this this will run once this. Oh, whoops! Uh, this dot jumping. I made it. I made. A, I made a boo boo. This dot jumping. I'm sure you saw it a long time ago. Um, and so now, if the direction is greater than zero, we're gonna increase. Oh, yeah, velocity by acceleration y. Um, and we'll say else. We're gonna we're gonna do the same thing, but with different images. Uh, which I think actually we want to be two, four. I think I, I think I made another typo there like a long time ago. Um, let's see if that's better. All right, so now we'll take a look at this guy and we'll see. We jump, but we jump too high. Um, we never stop jumping, as far as I can tell. Let's see. Yeah, we never stop jumping. So um, there seems to be an issue here. Let's figure out what it is. Um, that's, that's what happens if we don't have a this dot clear jump. So I'm going to say. We need to get. We need to stop jumping someday, right? Everybody has to stop jumping sometime. So then I'm gonna. We're gonna call clear interval on that jump interval. And we're gonna set jump value. Jump value. Oh, we're gonna set jump value to a positive one, at that point. And now we'll be k 
coming in the other direction with that velocity. Or at least that's my hope. So let's see what happens. I'm going to also initialize this jump interval to null. And that's probably not that important, but um, it's just sort of being tidy. Let's try it again. So not, not working as expected yet. We go up, and he goes up, and then he goes down. So you can, you can see what we're doing wrong, right, is we're um, never, we're not stopping at the ground. And we're also, you know, we also don't want to go off the top. So I bet you can guess where we need to work next is our keep on screen method. We're going to just add the y values to that. So we can pretty much copy and paste. And we'll say if this dot y is uh, greater than, uh, and so that's that's going down. Um, we want to we want to we want we want to make sure that he never goes lower than he is right here at the beginning. So I'm gonna. I'm going to cheat a little bit, and rather than uh, trying to figure out a better way to, to do this, I'm just going to store that value, that initial value, here, and then use that. And that way, I can check if the current y is lower than the ground. Right? And so now, we'll, if this dot start y is greater than this dot start y, then this dot y is going to be this dot start y. And if, you know, if it's getting close, close to the top of the screen, and, you know, we could make this like 50 even, then we're just going to say this dot jump value equals zero. And he should drift back down to Earth. So the effect of that will be to make the, um, the, the, this, this calculation zero. And actually, he won't drift back down to Earth yet because I'm not using gravity. But that's what I'm going to do next is this towards rest. We're going to decrease that jump value very regularly. And we'll just say, just like we did above, For the x, we'll say if this dot um, let's see if this dot I think what I want to do is actually do it a little bit different and say if if he's in the air, then we're gonna say this dot, right? And we, we could also have it be happening when he's not in the air, but um, and we'll say this dot jumping equals true. So just in case we, we, we miss that up here for some reason, we won't, we won't, we won't, we won't be able to jump again. Uh, that's probably not necessary, but um, then we'll say if he's on the ground, we're going to set this up velocity y to zero and jumping to false. Now let's just see. That should add our gravity along with some other conditions that may or may not be helpful. So we'll we'll see. Not bad. Better anyway. It's going a little high for me. 
let me see if this dot y oh. I'm sure you saw that typo before I did pretty clunky jumping um, let me think about how we can refine this a little bit um, maybe we would want to have a little more gravity so we can we can say let's see let's keep on screen towards rest this dot y is less than start y we'll say you know one thing we can do also is tidy this up a little bit tighten it up rather um, so we'll clear that jump right away and you know what we else we could do that might be nice here is to in our sketch we'll add one more one more little function so we've got this check keys we'll also have so we're gonna we're gonna use a built-in function one of the built-in functions from um, p5 and we'll say if key code If key code is up arrow and it's released, then we'll say um, hero Mario dot what was it clear jump. So now not too bad. Not too bad. It's kind of close, right? There's Mario. He's jumping. It's good times, right? Um, now, the one thing he's not able to do so far is collect these coins. I really want to be able to make... make. You know what? Um, just like in that movie Idiocracy, where the character keeps saying, I like money. I like money, and I want those coins. And my name is Mario. So um, in the next video, we'll start moving in that direction. I don't think we're going to do it in the next video, actually. In the next video, we're going to do is refactor this, um, and we're going to save that for next class. But what we're going to do is create a game, which I think is pretty necessary to keep track of a score of our coins, and you know, ultimately to keep track of our Mario and our coins and let them interact with each other. And then we'll also add some enemies, Goombas. All right, so I'll see you in that one, and I hope you have yourselves a very 